Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be an update for hashtag 54321. This is a project that was created by Elizabeth, AKA Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram. And we do this as a small group collab every year. Well, not every year, we did it several years ago and then Liz brought it back this year and we've been having a lot of fun doing it. But also included in this project is Amber, who is <laughs> make, I think it's Makeup and Books with Amber M. If it's something else, I will leave it, I will have the correction on the screen, but I think it's Makeup and Books with Amber M. Amber and I have really been having a lot of fun talking about the books we've been reading. It's quite a joy. There are some crossovers, but she reads a lot of books that I don't read and vice versa. But I love talking to anybody about books. It's super fun. Anyways, the whole point of this project is that Elizabeth noticed when she was project panning that a lot of project panners tend to pick the items to pan that are the oldest in their collection and then throw in products that are the newest in their collection because they feel guilty that they're always panning the oldest projects in their collection. But those products that are kind of in the middle between the oldest and the newest often get neglected until they become the oldest. And she thought that was interesting. So the idea behind this project was to work on one product that was five or more years old, one product that was four years old, a product that was three years old, two years old, one and one year old. So five products total, each from a different um, age. I based my products age on when they came into my collection, not when they were released from the brand. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I did have one empty in this project previously, a uh, couple of updates ago I had finished, well maybe it was my last update, but I already finished the product that was five or more years old. That was my Becca uh, priming filter, the purple one. And so I have been working with four products since then. This project is not rolling. So once you meet your goal on an item, it's done. And the goal that I have for all the items I put in this project for me personally is to finish them. I would like them all to be completely used up by the end of the year when this project ends or to just keep working on it throughout the year and make as much progress as I possibly can. So let's start with the item that is four years old. That is this loose setting powder from Givenchy. I did receive this complimentary for review from Influencer, I believe. And I have really been enjoying this powder quite a bit this year. Um, there's still a lot left, but I, out of all the products in this project, this is the one I use the most often um, as an, from day to day as an all over setting powder. I have been applying it a bit more liberally because I have been an oily, greasy, sweaty mess this summer. It is cooling off. We're starting to cool off. I might start getting a little bit more dried out, but lately this was perfect and it really did a good job of keeping me mattified and I enjoy it very much, but it is far from done. I do also have quite a bit of product in the lid, so got a long way to go on it, but I'm enjoying this powder very much. I'm glad it's in this project. I'm glad I have a, an excuse to use it because it fit the age range of products. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to keep doing this project because my low buy has been so successful that I don't have a lot of products that are two years old and three years old to choose from because I have been a good girl. Now, six years old, seven years old, 20 years old, I have a lot of those products, but I don't have a lot of newer products that are five years and under because come this December, I will have been on my low buy for five years. So um, the amount of products I have since starting my low buy that have come in has been much smaller than it used to be prior to starting my low buy. My product that is three years old is my Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade, I wanna say, no, brownie. I was gonna say earthquake, no, brownie. Um, I've really been enjoying this pencil. I haven't used it a ton. I have a lot of eye pencils and projects this year. I have a black, I have a brown, I have a navy blue, I have a teal, I have a kind of um, aqua blue. I have a lot of eyeliners to choose from, from one day to the next but I do tend to reach for this brown eyeliner whenever I'm doing a bronzy look 
or, or any kind of a neutral look. I'm still rolling it up. I don't have a ton of progress since the last update, but I do have a little. Right there. So just a little bit of progress since the last update. I think as we get into fall, I'll be using this pencil a bit more, but I definitely need to make sure I finish the black eyeliner too this year. So I'll probably be bouncing back and forth between the two. The liner that I tend to reach for the most is the green. I've just completely fallen head over heels in love with that liner this year and I wear it all the time. I just automatically reach for it without thinking about it. My product that is two years old is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. This is an all-time favorite of mine, but I haven't worn it very much since the last update. I know I wore it once, but it might have only been one time that I wore it. Um, that's a shame. It is just such a beautiful, gorgeous product, but I have so many eyeshadows to work on, and unfortunately, I just can't make this a priority right now. My Pan That Palette really needs to be my priority. But I love this shadow and I'm so glad it's in this project and it gives me an excuse to reach for it when I can. My goal is to finish this. I don't think that's gonna happen, but any progress I get on it this year because it was in this project is worth it. And the final product in this project is the one that is only one year old. Um, that is this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Forget Me Not. Boy, do I love this product. I love it so much. I haven't reached for it a ton um, since the last update. The main reason being that this doesn't do well in warm weather. This is one of my all time favorite lip products ever. This, the Marc Jacobs. I've tried several of these gloss sticks and I love this concept. I love this formula, but these melt very quickly in the heat and when I click it up, you can't really tell it's melting. I mean, you should, I know because it's warm in the house, but when I go to apply it, it just kind of all over my lips. So I much prefer this in once we get out of the warmest months of the year, because it can hold its form a little bit more and I can get the right application on my lips without going overboard. Otherwise I just apply too much on my lips. So I haven't been using this a ton over the last three months, but Hopefully I will be able to pick up my usage on this. I was tempted to put this in my purse and use it as a purse lippy, but I ended up going with another lipstick that's in a different project. But I'm pretty sure if this was in my purse, it would be getting used up much faster because this would be something I'd be reaching for on a daily basis and not just occasionally. So a quick update, but those are the four products left in this project. I don't see myself finishing anything anytime soon. Uh, I, I did pick out products that I imagine would last the entire year, and I think there's a good chance none of these will be finished by the end of the year, but I'm going to keep using them as much as I can, and I'm definitely going to continue to enjoy them because they are all great products that I really love. But that is going to be it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.